Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the second round of League 3. We've had a few moves um, with in terms of drivers. Firstly, the Mercedes of Zodiac has moved into the Renault as Asfix has left, as well as Stripper Clip, meaning both William drivers, Sonny and Vibe, are going to move into the Merc. And we've got two new drivers, which is... Um, Amirs, this uh, Iranian driver from uh, Iran, he's moved into the pink Mercedes with Honor King, as well as he has also left. And we have Swift, who's moved into the Williams. So it should be a competitive, uh, competitive midfield, as the pace is very similar. And uh, hopefully we'll get to the race soon. Just uh, pull someone in for an interview. As we are currently at the uh, Bahrain paddock. Uh, okay, I need to go and move these guys over here. Okay, All right. Hello? No, I'm. Um... You're getting interviewed. Yeah, we'll talk. So just just a few questions, Swift. Mhm. Mm so uh, first first race of League Three. Um, yes, sir. What is your plan in this race? Mm, to not crash. Okay. On the first lap. Okay. Uh, and to get into Q3. Okay. If you uh, get into Q3, what? Tire strategy are gonna look for. Are you gonna go for a really aggressive or a passive? I can't can't be giving away that information. Okay. Um, you really went out in practice today. Uh, were you testing out new components? Uh, yeah. Can you? We've got a brand new car. Okay. It's really good. Uh, can you tell us about the uh, configuration, like the setup of the wings, and like what power unit you're using? Um, it's, uh, fuck, Mercedes power unit. Okay. And we have a front wing and a rear wing. Alright, uh, what setup are you going to use for this, um, this Grand Prix? Um, <laughs> fuck, I don't know what it is exactly, but... <laughs> is it Gaddick setup? Uh, I, it's it's one I've been using for time trials, so I'm gonna be fast as fucking quality, but I'm gonna be like a boat okay. in the race, you know? Okay. okay. Uh, am I is swearing aloud? Am I gonna get fined? Uh, Shit. not but, really. No. <laughs> uh, uh, um, <coughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's 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 fine. Don't worry. Um, and uh, just one last question, if I can remember Go what ahead. I was thinking. Who's your biggest rival at the moment? Um, my teammate. Do you even have a teammate? Fair enough. <laughs> okay, let's pull Amir's. Should I pull Amir's? Okay, no, maybe not. Uh, let's get... Who should I get? Should I get Earl? Because he said hype. Where is he? McLaren. There he is. Hello? Yeah. What? Oh, hey, how are you? Hi, you're getting interviewed because you said... Um, Hype in the chat. Oh yes, I did. Yeah. So you kind of you kind of shot yourself in the foot there. But uh, anyways, uh, second race of League Three. Yeah, and second time the honor to get interviewed. What are your plans for this race? Uh, actually, quite ambitious because last race was a lot better than I anticipated. Okay. Uh, yeah. So top ten, top ten it is. Okay, top ten. Uh, who would you say yeah. is your biggest um, rival at the minute? Uh, actually, as last time, I don't really know, but uh, I hope to be be on the same level as my teammate. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you... I I I I 
feel like Vale could be leading this quite quite dominant as well. Yep. But well, yeah, from well. there on, everything is possible. Okay. Uh, how many safety cars are you predicting today? Um, how many did we have last week? Like three, four, two, ten, two, three, nine? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, twelve. Okay, 12? exactly. Yeah, yeah, less, less. Um, maybe, maybe two. I, I feel like this is this is not as, as um, yeah, as many incidents as in Austria, uh, Australia, not Austria. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, there could be one, two at least. Okay. Um. So in terms of your teammates' performances, are you happy with them? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank God that's over. Who should I who should I interview now? Uh So hopefully it should be a good race. By the looks of it, this is gonna be close in terms of pace with the midfield, but I'm predicting uh, Vale to lead the race. Hello. Did I you get back in there? God, some people, man. Wait, where did I move it? Oh. Anyways. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be a very close midfield, I think, between the McLarens. Uh, if I just look at the standings again, so I can try myself the McLarens, as well as um. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one trying to predict it because the pace is so similar between all of them, in my opinion, anyways. But we'll just have to see what happens as we're now back in the paddock to uh, interview the Iranian driver from Iran, uh, Amir's. Hello. Uh, hello, Amir's. Hi there. Hi. Yes. Hi. So um, yeah. Uh, welcome to the paddock. Where... Oh, this is inter. Oh, hello, my friend. Hello. Yes, well, we're we're in the Bahrain paddock in Sakir, you know. Oh, yeah, yes, of course, of course. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so first question of the day: What are your predictions? Um, of course, I am predicting myself to be a podium. Okay. Uh, Top three. I like anything I, less. I like the confidence. This is my first race, so I don't really know much about uh, anyone else. Yep. But I do already have rivals that I will be racing against. Who who are your rivals? Uh, the parent company of my team, so Mercedes. So you're saying Sunny and Vibe are your rivals? I I would say so. Yes. Where where did this rivalry come from? It began uh, long ago. Long ago. land far from our joke. It, it began like uh, when I joined this league just uh, in a small race. Yeah. Uh, let's just say a lot of shit talk happens and you know, talk shit gets smacked. So. Okay. Um, I'm talking my smack on the track. Okay, fair enough. I like the confidence. Uh, oh, one second. Spectate. Are you lost, baby girl? Yes, I'm lost. Right. <laughs> Um, so, in terms of your teammate, who who's who comes first? Is it Ana King or is it you? Okay, so we're trying to go for a one-two finish here, okay. and uh, I, I think we can both agree that if one of us has a better shot, uh, the other one will assist that person to get through. Okay. Uh, this isn't a priority thing. Whoever drives the best will go for the best. We're not gonna, you know, do what Mercedes does and you know call each other and be like, you know, let him pass. We're not like that team. Okay. And uh, from my notes, from one of my agents stalking you on LinkedIn, uh, it says here you were sponsored by an Arab private jet company based in Kuwait. Can you confirm this? Sorry, Jordan, not Kuwait. My bad. Uh, no comments, no comments. No comments? Uh, is this part of the uh, contract that you can't talk about it? Uh, no comments, sorry my friend. This is hush hush little high bye, bye Also, I heard that you work in the uh, oil industry. And actually the Sheikh hey, of Bahrain is uh, not okay, happy listen, with Listen, Habibi, what the, Habibi, what the fuck? Are we racing or did you dig my entire life? What, you're gonna name my parents now? 
Habibi, answer the questions, please. This is what's the question? The the Sheikh of Bahrain, you know, uh, the uh, Indian guy. He isn't happy with uh, the oil money that you spent on F1. Can you confirm this? There's not much to confirm. I saw an opportunity, I took it, and uh, I'm not like Lance Stroll. I don't read. Okay, that that's the interview done. Um, who should I interview now? Uh, It Elf. seems that I was disconnected for a second. Oh. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, where were you again, sorry? I was, I was saying that uh, I'm not like... Ah, get you. Hello? Hi. Hello, Jeff. Hello. So, congratulations on your, on your P3 last race. What are your what issues are you? on uh, uh, Bahrain? Well, uh... I think it's gonna go well. I'm more comfortable in Bahrain than in Australia, to be honest. Yeah. Kind of confident on my pace, uh, practiced enough to be confident enough, I'd say. Okay. So yeah, we'll see. That's good. Hope uh, hope the qualifying is going to be good and uh, we can put on the strategy we got. Okay. Uh, you you have a new teammate, uh, Zodiac. Yeah. And um, who comes first in terms of drivers? Oh, uh, we'll see. I don't know. We didn't discuss it. Uh, yet, because we'll, I think we'll see how today goes. But uh, personally, I know that he has better pace than I am, so that I have. So uh, if he's way quicker than me and just behind, I might let him by, not to okay. get any trouble for the team. I think we just play the the team the team game a little bit, and we'll see who's faster. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we're about to start qualifying, so uh, good luck. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, have you been? Right, now that's over. Um, let me turn this up. Get this sim op thing open. Load. People are now choosing their tires. I think it is almost a full grid. Um, stop edit. Oh, so, let me just uh, change to F1. You just see my desktop. Close that. Okay. So, we have like a new HUD. Uh, I'll show you when one of the drivers goes out. As you can see, we're in sunny secure. Very good weather. Fair weather. It's not the rainy season, so the rainy season usually end January. So technically we are in the rainy season, but today is a sunny, bright day. I think the uh, the capital Manama has also caught a little bit of wind for the kite surfers, like me. Um, but we will see. As the, we have 17 racers, so only three people will get knocked out of Q1 with uh, 17 minutes in the session. Who will be the first ones to go out? for their first hot lap and as well as the first lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix. So we please go out so I can like show off this uh, this thing. <laughs> I might need to adjust. Okay, the Merc of Vibe is going out. And I think that's a Renault as well, as well as the Red Bull of the South African driver of oh, Batros. Or is that Snowflake? It's Snowflake, never mind. We'll go on board with him just so I can show it off to you guys. If it works. <laughs> Why isn't it working? <laughs> um, um, uh, okay, technical difficulties. Uh, 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 stop edit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I need to adjust it just just a little bit because uh, this is the first time we've ever used it. I could just uh, I think that's good. Okay, right. So, anyways, <laughs> back to where we were. The Bahrain Grand Prix as we're on board with Snowflake driver number twenty-two. There should be some more info on this as well, but uh, apparently not. Okay, that opens up that. Oh, that's probably why.
This is quality. <laughs> It's a bit scuffed, not gonna lie, but uh, this is the first time you've ever done it. Oh my god, why is it showing the G's now? Alright, I just have to be a bit careful with... Uh, uh, the uh, the G part. Anyways, Snowflake... One of the first few people... Oh, let me turn on the map actually. So, uh, get to see snowflake should be the first one or actually it's zodiac out for his first outlap so let's go board with him why is it moved oh my god it's moved uh um anyways we just uh, move down there yep yeah. you guys see anything what is this production value i paid five euros for this okay anyways on board with zodiac as he will set the First time lap of the Grand Prix. And so the uh, double left hander that a lot of people lock up on. So it's a very short corner to get right. On to sector 3 now, as he should set a purple. Purple sector 2 with his. Uh... Well, he should, but uh, apparently not. Oh my god, you guys didn't see anything. <coughs> kind of did it a bit too quick, but it will. Anyways, onto the last corner of Bahrain, or Secure, as this is located in the southeast of Bahrain. Very far from the capital of Manama. He sets a time of a 127.3. The British driver should be okay with that time, but I think he could do much better. Snowflake comes across the line and sets a 127.3 something. Um, let me change that as well. 127.37 and Sunny behind him which says a 127.8. No, there's yellow flags as people are out. Tom also out for his first lap in Bahrain as his first race why does it always move man it's good enough it's good enough as he invalidates his first lap of the session and uh, as we will go Amir's is still in his pit so he's waiting for something to happen you know Matt is going to cross the line Jedek still tops the session with a 27-3. And Jedek across Matt goes across the line, sorry, with a 135-1, so he can definitely improve by a lot. While well, the both McLarens are out for their first hot lap. and unlock himself out. Be brave, Jeff. With only 11 minutes left in the session, uh, there might be some track revolution as the uh, late runners could get some extra grip. And I think Amir's is actually going to wait for that. There's 27 viewers in this stream, so uh, a lot more than I was expecting, to be fair. But uh, anyways, on board with Tom as he is on an actual lap, but he's about to invalidate. Never mind, he doesn't invalidate. On to the second to the last, sorry, the last corner of Secure. What will he do? So he sets a lap time of a 127.1, putting it to P1. And I just picked up, but actually Soul this creature puts us all to P2 with a 127.3 just in front of Zodiac. Meanwhile, ZZ Rip sets a 128.6, and Sonny uh, DNFs out of the session. And yeah, if I can go on board with the other McLaren, you'll see him on the left hand side of the track. There he is. 
I think he spun out on that S section. But if the P15, so he could easily get knocked out. And uh, I think Amir's is going to be uh, very happy about that. So all the pressures on Vibe to get into Q2 now. Well, I'm sticking with Earl now. He is going to set his first timed lap of the session. So he locks up his right, left rear, sorry. And he spins out at Sector 3, which is quite a common spot to spin out. As Williams of Tom just kind of witnesses that firsthand. And yeah, it's very, it's very easy to spin out, especially on that part of the circuit. Is Tom going to go for another lap, or is he going to go straight into pits? Go straight into the pits. He's not looking to improve or waste his tires for Q2. Giving him an extra pair for the race, actually. Or qualifying if he chooses to use it. Yeah. Meanwhile, his Zodiac's teammate Jeff is in P6 with 126... 27.6, sorry. So, uh, the pace... Pace is looking good, but Vale, who was... The... Leader of... Who was the race winner, sorry, of Australia... Is going up for his... Outlap, so this could change everything. I mean, he might even contest for P1. The uh, Uzbekistani driver, from what I've been told, he is actually sponsored by a um, a coal factory. It's just a bit odd, but uh, that's what I've been told by my sources anyways. As he's on the start finish straight now. Setting his first time lap of the session. Meanwhile, Indigo's yet to set a time lap as well. And he cuts the... Uh, the S section in uh, sector start of sector two. There's a yellow flag in sector three. Sounds like looks like ZZ Rip spun out in the exact same place as teammates spun out. So uh, his tires are definitely screaming at him. That's something to be wary about. As he go on board and he spins exactly the same as Sonny, and he gets lucky there. And there is Sonny's uh, wheel as he spoils his lap as well as his tires and his front wings. So uh, the Alfa Romeo pit crew won't be happy with that at all as they have some extra work. Meanwhile, on board is Zodiac now who will be setting his first time lap. Let's see where this puts him. As um, somebody, Oniking goes, no not Oniking, somebody improved or some shit. McLaren bad arrow. Indigo sets a lap time of 127.4, putting him to P5. So both Alpha Tauri's in the top 5 of the session. With only 7 minutes left to go. A lot can happen as the track revolution will um, come into play. And yes, the McLaren arrow is very bad and I will ask him about it. Seems like there is not enough. Um funding for that. Anyways, on board with uh, Amir's, as this is his first lap of the session. Bit of a fun fact, he's actually a keyboard player, so let's see where he gets put in turn, but he, he fucks it up as soon as I say that. He'd be biting himself in the foot right now. Williams number one? Well, yeah, you guys have a lot of history, so... so I'll just wait for him to... Uh, Undo his lap, or do maybe go for another one. We'll have to see. He sets his ERS to zero, so yeah, that is the case. Wait, that was vibe. Oh my god. Okay, this is Amir's. Amir's with his first, <laughs> first lap of the session. <laughs> Where will he come? He cuts the corner, but he doesn't get a invalidation for that. As you can see, he is definitely on keyboard. What is his time going to be? It's a 1.29.4, putting himself just in front of Sonny, but uh, I think he could do better. He might even go for another lap as he goes in a little bit deep into turn 1.
does invalidate his lap time in Sector 2. The Indigo just behind him as you let him pass. And it looks like he is sending another lap time. But with not much ERS to play with, uh, he might lose some acceleration towards the end of this lap. Uses all of the track available to him, and looks like uh, it was just the Mercedes letting the Alfa Romeo past. As Vale is going for another outlap, actually. And it goes now on at the final corner of Sakir. So he will cross the line, putting him into P1 with a 126.7, putting him in front of the Williams Sharper of Tom on this debut race. I think he'll be very happy. That's that's the Alpha Alpha Tauri 1-3 at this moment. With only four minutes left in the session, there isn't much time to play with. So Vale needs to get a move on with this lap and not mess up. As he is going to be going across the line very soon. I think the uh, Alpha Tauri crew will be pleased with that result from both Indigo and Soulless Creature, who look like they'll be contenders for the race win as well as a good points haul if they keep those positions in the race but safety cars will happen and could change everything it is yes it is for quality so uh, you've got Q2 and 3 to look forward to Tom Looks like there are no names for the for Bahrain. Um, good, good. And that puts it to P1 with a 126.6, uh, just one tenth in front of Indigo. So I think he'll definitely be happy with that. But uh, we still have oh. We still have Q2 and 3 to look forward to. As the uh, Alfa Romeo driver oh, should be very happy with that lap time. 32 minutes left in the session to go. Amir's was in last place for his debut race. Um, he doesn't have much time to actually set a lap time as the Alfa Romeo goes past him. As well as Vibe in the Mercedes. So the only real, only person in danger really is Ren Dirks. And a Ferrari spun out and lost his part of his front wing. But uh, I shouldn't be too worried. So currently three people have spun out on this exact spot. Looks like he, uh, he just spinal is in sector three. Now Amir is about to set his second time lap, I think on the exact same pair of softs. Yes, I think he's gonna gamble and try to keep those softs for Q2 and maybe touch the race, but we'll have to see. It's a turn one now. What will he do with it? Will he contend with the Mercedes as it is his Oh my god, as it is his, I can't speak English, uh, as it is his, um, what's, what's the word? Red Fox just joins, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> he's a bit late to the party, but uh, he's the only house on the grid, and uh, he's gonna be in P18. 
that's his uh, rivals, that's what I was trying to say. So, Amir's in sector 2 now, on the double left-hander, he gets a decent exit out of that corner. He needs to improve by at least a second and 1.5 seconds to be able to get out of Q1 with this being it with no time left in the session and the McLaren spins out and uh, DNFs meanwhile Amir goes very wide and very lucky not to invalidate his lap time so that's the uh, fourth person to spin out there well third person but the first one to DNF in that spot so Amir uses all of the track with his keyboard I think we'll see going to finish this race Amir sets a well he doesn't improve he's putting it to P17 on the last Second to last row of the grid, just next to Vibe, who is a second quicker. That should conclude th conclude this session as Randrix should be safe. Meanwhile, Earl's looking like he's not going to improve, and uh, maybe Matt's going to go for another lap. We'll just have to see. I don't think Wissy's gonna not finish this race either, to be fair. And, um, let's see. Yep, looks like nobody's uh, going out for a lap, so that should conclude the session with. 5 1 is last lap, actually, by the looks of it. Can he improve? And. get into Q2, but Sony's actually into Q2, looking at things now. So. This could be Doomsday for Amir's in the uh, pink Mercedes as he is two seconds slower than Honor King. I'll have to see as Vibe goes into the last corner. Oh, he improve. He's weaving, so that probably means no, meaning he is knocked out and starting right next to Amir's. So if you go back to the uh, the paddock, oh god, um, we will give Amir's little interview ask, to ask uh, what happened there. Hello. Hi. So uh, knocked out a Q1, and just behind your rivals. Um, obviously, a lot can change in the race, but uh, would you say that was disappointing from you? It was, it was, and it was also, it's just, I don't know what the McLarens and the Ferrari drivers are doing out there. The McLaren, on the same turn towards the end, I think it was like, uh, the last three turns, the McLaren and Ferrari drivers, I think they love the barrier so much, they love to keep smashing into it. Yeah, uh, I and think both the McLarens McLaren or... spun out on that corner. Yeah, 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 and the Ferraris. I watched it all happen. That's the thing, the McLaren ruined my time. I would have had a simple a 127. Okay. 127.8 if I actually had the track So properly. would you say that was a bit unlucky then? Yeah, it's unlucky. It happens. It's a race, but I don't know what the McLaren and Ferrari drivers love on that section of the track. Yeah. But, I, I mean, it's it's stupid. Are we here to race or are we here to play ping pong? Well, uh, Gatic said that there might be some bad aero in the McLarens, so maybe that might be the issue for them. I mean, whatever it is, it just uh, ruined my chance of Q2 and I'm not happy. Okay, I'm not happy. Well, uh, good luck for the race. Um, and yeah. You heard the man. Uh, as we'll talk with ZZ Rip. I think he's the one who DNF'd. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi. So, um... There's... There's some uh, some issues going on with the McLaren Arrow as both of you spun out into the uh, second to last corner of the uh, the track. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think this this corner is quite difficult um, because the car setup uh, which I'm using is, uh, had not, has not enough uh, enough uh, downforce on the on the rear wing. Um, that's why you're spinning around there. Okay. Um, would you say it's, it's a setup issue or, you know, is there not enough funding for the uh, components? 
Uh, no, it's not the not the car setup. Um, I was testing around the, during the week which car setup would be better. Um, I had some with more downforce on the rear wing, but uh, this one was better for the straights. Okay. That's why I choose this one here. Um, yeah, but yeah, it happens. It Maybe happens. I can get some. Get you were you were in into race. Q2, right? Oh no, Earl is into Q2. Sorry. Yeah, so. Earl's in the Q2. Um, yeah, best luck for him there. Uh, would you say that was disappointing from your point of view, or just unlucky? Um. It's kind of disappointing, but um, yeah, my tires were quite of, quite hot. Um, that's why I would say I don't have enough grip there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this was unlucky, kind of. Well, uh, good luck for the race. Uh, thank you very much. Anyways, back to F1 2020. Uh, there are now a few people out on their first outlap. What will Rendrix bring to the table for the Alfa Romeo? As Vale is clearly carrying the team by a lot. Uh, I think Rendrix did finish in the points, but towards the back end of the grid. We'll just have to see. Meanwhile, Mott, uh, the Williams driver, has, has, has had a very good debut so far. Um, as he has put himself into Q2 with a fair amount of pace, putting the uh, the top five of Indigo, Tom, Zodiac, the two Alpha Tauris, and Vale, as well as Jeff Knight maybe, in a very close battle in terms of pace. Show us the new HUD. All right, we'll go on board with um, on board with Mott. He sets a purple sector one. I think that's because he's the first one out, but he's just behind the South African driver of El Rat Ross or Snowflake, even as they are both setting a lap time. We'll stay on board with him as he's on a double left hander now. Tries to get a good exit out there, but a little bit of oversteer. I just saw that for a split second. So uh, I heard a little bit of info from Mots that he was born and raised in Silverstone and then. Um, he, I think he met Lando Norris, George Russell, um, all the likes of them people in his karting career. Which, uh, he has a lot of experience actually. And he's, I think they're best friends as well. They, they talk on a daily basis on a Discord. I think last night he's a bit hungover because of uh, someone's birthday party. And I might have been there, but uh, I can't confirm. Meanwhile, Tom sets a fast lap time with 127.4, putting it to P1 with El Rat Ross. P2 with a 127.7. On board now with Matt. If I can find the right person. That's not the right person. Um, Snowflake. First lap. Looks like yeah, he's going to go for another lap right after this. This goes into the pits. Oh god, I need to change. Why isn't it working? Leave! Uh... Oh. There it is. Okay. So this creature, Indigo's goes for 125.9. I didn't even realize it. I was trying to turn the uh, thing off. But he's two seconds quicker than Mott. So uh, this is this is put. This is very good last time from him actually, as he might be on his new set of soft compound tires. Let me just check the not the telemetry tire. Okay, so yeah, a new set of soft tires. We we'll just have to see what he will do with this uh, thing in the race. With Vale going on the mediums, go for a different strategy. I mean, all there's a yellow flags in sector two as one of the alpha. Alpha Tauri's like to show the go for their hot lap. I think that might be Solus. So will Vale top the medium runners in front of Solus as he is in P6? I just realized uh, there's only 13 runners, so.
This goes on the start finish straight across the line, putting him to P2 with a 127 dead. Still a second slower than Indigo. So it's looking looking like um Oh, oh my god. It's looking like uh, it's gonna be a competitive top five by the looks of things. You know, Earl's MP4 with a 127 7. And uh, I just realized both Mercedes are actually out of the session as well. So, Bale has topped the medium runners four times quicker than Maul on the mediums as well. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Um, there's yellow flags, but it's just bugged. Sweat so much. <laughs> Snowflake out for his first outlap on the medium tires with uh, Zodiac, the new Renault driver, as well as Martins, the Spinala master. Um, also about to set a lap time you know the other mercedes not mercedes ferrari's gone to the pits so will the south akron driver top his teammate with the medium compound tires or will he get knocked out of q2 we'll find out very shortly as uh, zodiac also goes across the line I need to check what flags we are. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, anyways, back onto the race, double left hander. Zodiac into sector 2 now. Will he get himself into the top 5 with Mott, who is the second fastest mediums runner? He sets a purple sector 2, he might even set a fastest lap here. We'll just have to see. As he goes onto the last corner of. Bahrain. What will it be? Bit of suspense. Goes across the line and sets a 128.2, so that's a bit disappointing. But uh, he is in danger of getting knocked out of Q2. Putting a bit of pressure. Both uh, Mercedes, not Mercedes, Renault. Is that scraping on the floor? Anyways, both Renault, sorry. Or both. Go for the medium, so they're going to go for the same strategy by the looks of it on the race. As Jeff McKnight is going to go for his first timed lap of Q2. Go Jeff, go Jeff, go Jeff. On board with him now, as he is on the double left hander that everybody absolutely hates. Can I please turn off this cheese thing, man? Don't want the cheese anymore. And it looks like um, Honor King's gone P5 with the medium tires. With a 127.4, and I think everyone's gonna go for mediums with only four runners on the sauce. He gets to slip screen off his teammate of Zodiac as he goes onto the second last corner, sorry, of a secure. And the French driver from Born and Raised in Marseille goes P11 with that time.
bit disappointing, but uh, let me just uh, give me give me like two seconds. Let me just uh, this is, uh, we're gonna go to Monaco for a second. Art shame. Um, okay, let me close that. Load. Does that work now? Why is it still cheese? I don't want cheese. Um, F? What does F do? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Alright. So I fixed it now. So, uh, back onto F1. Close that. Okay. God, my armpits are sweating so much, man. What the f- Oh, it stinks. Why is it sunny? We're in England. Anyways, back onto this race. And it goes still the fastest of the fastest of the rest. And they're 125.9, but he is on the South Conflict tires. Let's not forget. So I think he will start on the uh, mediums. Maybe go from mediums to hards and try keep track position if he goes P1 and Q2, Q3, sorry. And you get the uh, flags up for each driver. Leak chat. Um, where is the thing I sent? So, currently in this grid we've got a French, who's Jeff, three English, Sonny, Swift, Vibe, Matt, and Zodiac, one Iranian, which is Amir's, the two South Africans of El Ratros, and I think that's Snowflake, we've got a Swedish driver of Onik King, Martins, who's Portuguese, Vale, who's actually Turkish, didn't know that actually. Uh, Randerx is Spanish, we've got a Dutch soulless creature and a German Earl. So, in terms of nationalities, this is a very mixed uh, mixed field, but with the English topping it up. So maybe a bit of toxicity in between the uh, English drivers, actually. With only a minute and 15 left in the session, what can the drivers do? as we've got I think Snowflake's in danger of getting knocked out but he doesn't have enough time to set a lap so it's all on Rendrix, Jeff and Martin who's invalidated the lap time actually with um, Rendrix think about to set his first lap or second lap sorry will he improve as most of the runners have now switched onto the soft combat tires to try and secure a spot into Q3. As he improves up to P9, pushing Zodiac down to P10, putting into danger as well. It's not looking good for the Reynolds. As uh, Zodiac's out for his outlap on first lap on the softs. We've got more with them. Has it moved? Oh my god, it's moved. Um, um, <laughs> I did Okay, you guys didn't see shit. Okay, on board with Zodiac now. At turn 15, up through the gears, he sets a 1.26.8 with the soft compound tires. You know, his teammate, now on a lap. Never mind, he just finished a lap, so he's knocked out of Q2. Oh my god, why isn't it turning off? Okay, now it's turning off. I'm only gonna show the uh, the HUD a few times because it's a bit, like, weird. Um, especially when turning it off. I don't know why it takes so much time. I don't really know how to properly use it. So uh, we'll have to see. 
It'll be up. It'll be open like a few times, but not too many, because I don't want to uh, spoil a little bit, you know. Anyways, so I think the Spanish driver is knocked out. I think I don't know for sure, but I know for sure that Snowflake, Jeff, and Martins are gonna be knocked out from Q2. So there is Tom running extra forehead for Max Downforce. Ben, this is a Christian stream. What are you doing? Don't use Mott's name in vain. So as you heard, the uh, Williams driver is using extra foreskin for um, extra downforce. Maybe using the suction as the uh, the opening is like a lot slow, smaller than the outening, outening the open end. And uh, the AI make contact <laughs> and it's uh, like DNS. That was funny. Um, maybe even producing some ground effect with that. Forehead. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> um, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I meant. Did you guys hear foreskin? No, no, I meant forehead. You know, he's got a smooth brain as well, so like the air uh, goes through the head quicker, you know? Anyways, standings as of now three drivers have been knocked out Q2. Nice one, Alrek. <laughs> uh,. Well, you're in Q3 now, Mott, so uh, do the Williams proud. Snowflake, Jeff, and Martins have been knocked out. So there's a lot of pressure on Zodiac, Matt, and oh, Rat Ross, who will be carrying the team forward into Q3. Is there any truers in chat? Yeah, nah. So, Q3 now, 10 runners. Should be a very good, very good, um, as we will go and uh, actually interview Zodiac, not Zodiac. Uh, that's the wrong thing, okay. So let's interview uh, Jeff. Hello. Hello. So, uh, Q, you got knocked out of Q2. I messed up. <laughs> uh, would you say that was on me? On I messed up. Okay, fair enough. Um, bit of pressure on Zodiac. I messed Zodiac. up the timing, yeah. Yeah. So I saw but, you. But uh, yeah. I think he's. No, nah, he's gonna be. He's gonna be fine. I trust him about that. He got okay. the base. He got. He got the speed and the. So yeah, maybe first or second row might be something he can do. Yeah. I uh, I know he can clinch Paul even though Vale and Indigo are quite quick. <laughs> okay. Um But uh yeah. Would you say that um shit, uh one second. <laughs> okay. So does that work? Oh my god, okay. Anyways, um, were you going for the one stop? Because I saw you going for the uh, medium compound tires. Yeah, I, w I, wanted to, I wanted to give it a go and wanted to see the pace I could have on mediums, but I messed up. I missed my lap, like really. Yeah. Uh, I got three corners that was super wide on, and I just basically after that didn't have enough time. So it was a gamble, which okay. didn't work. It yeah. happens, it's, uh, it's racing. But um, now I still have the advantage of the tire choice, so I, I can still make something out of it. Okay. Well, I won't ask you that because I don't want your competitors to know. What are you going for yeah. first? What are you going for first? Medium salts. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll All right. See. Uh, thank you for the interview. Uh, good luck. Thank you. See you. Is that shit? Yeah. E oh, God. You guys saw my email? Let me just close face it. All right. So Q3 now, everyone's out for their first lap. Tom's the first one for a first time lap. Oh my god, why is it always scuffed, man? God damn. Just the uh, edit layout, just just a little bit. Evi, I hope you're taking uh, taking notes, by the way.
raids as we're on board with Mott, who sets a purple sector one. Because he is the first uh, runner out. What will he try and do? Meanwhile, Zodiac, sorry, not Zodiac, um, Zodiac just behind Tom. It would be a very interesting race as, like I said, the pace between everyone is um, Savage Whiskey. Yeah, but you're commentating next, so <laughs> I hope you're taking notes on how to uh, do this stuff. And uh, make sure you use display. Mott sets a purple sector too, because he's the first one to do so. But it looks like Zodiac took that, as he did cross the uh, the line thing. Anyways, on to the second to the last so sorry the last corner at turn 18. Tom does a 126.7. Meanwhile, Zodiac, who's about to cross the line, does a 126.7. Seven, sorry, nine, two tenths slower than Tom, but he does get a purple sector too. Meanwhile, Onyx King's cross line does a 127.8, and the uh, Red Bull of South African is about to cross the line now with a 127 dead, putting in front of the pink Mercedes, and uh, Vale also about to cross the line with a 125.5, putting it to P1, that's a very quick time. Now on board with Rendix, who will cross the line and put it to P6 with a 127.7, put it to P6, I already said that. Uh, I think that is a soulless creature who was in, did a very good Q1 or 2 session, I can't remember. But uh, first lap of Q3 and he sets a 126.8, putting just behind and in front of both Tom and Zodiac. Meanwhile, Matt. Also onto the last corner, goes to the pits because I think he messed up his lap, and now on board with Indigo. The Williams is carrying Tom, so which hey, I think I don't want to use the display better than you. I'm struggling with it. Anyways, oh my god, I just look away for one second, and Indigo sets a 125.8, putting it to P2. So it's looking uh, quite competitive with the, uh, the lap times, as there is only about uh, three tenths to split, four tenths to split, P3 and 6. So this could be the battle for the podium as Tom sets himself on the podium for the race start. Earl locks up his right rear just a little bit, costing him maybe a couple hundreds of a second, a couple thousands even. Locks up his right, front, front right, god, <laughs> even more, costing him even more time and ruining the tires just a little bit, putting a little bit of a flat spot, which could upset the suspension of the McLaren, as we've already seen, they are struggling with some aero, as both McLarens did spin out on turn 17, and there was a 127.8, just a tenth behind Renderx. Is it snowing? Why is it snowing? It's January. What the hell? Monica gang, Nugget, it's not time for you to train Monaco. He does need training. He was born in Monaco. Now we're on board with El Ratros, the South African driver for Red Bull, goes into the pits. Let's see how good his pit entry is. Goes in very slow, that's somebody locked up massively. Oh my god, somebody just liked all my Instagram photos. I wonder who that is. Oh, it's a kite surfer. Don't see that every day. Anyways, both. Not both. Uh, Rendrix, Spanish driver, going for a cool down lap, and I think 
Vale is going to try and improve his 125.5, which is already a very fast time. Only three tenths quicker than Indigo, so I think he's going to try to secure himself pole position. We'll just have to see what happens. Why are you self-promoting the Discord, Gatic? Uh, oh my god. And uh, one of the... Did he just beat up? Just give it away, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well, Matt's out for his first lap of the session. Will he put the Ferrari in the top five, or... Will he not? And uh, Mott, setting his second lap... Sorry, second time lap of Q3. Into turn 17. Oh. Now it's turn 18. Turn 14, there's 15 turns? Oh my god, I thought there was 18, whoops. Anyways, uh, does Tom improve? No, he doesn't. He might have improved, but uh, he's not close enough to any of the drivers. Going on board with Matt as he sets his first time lap of the session in Q3, just in front of Mott. This is a very difficult section to get right, as he goes into 7th gear, so I don't know why he doesn't stay in 6th. He ruins a bit of his momentum there, he could, could have at least gained a 10th, staying in 6th gear instead of 7th. But um, anyways, onto the double left-hander, he goes in a little deep, but he gets a good exit out of there. That turn, it doesn't say, <laughs> I don't know what turn that is. Now onto the end of sector 2, which uh, he goes slightly wide and doesn't invalidate very luckily with only Mott just behind him. I think he's gaining on him. He goes wide and he invalidates his lap time. You know, Mott is just behind him. Probably just gonna go into pits with uh, not much ERS to play with, anyways. Don't know why it's snowing. So, Indigo sets a fast lap, lap time of 125.5, only 30 milliseconds in front of Vale. And uh, it looks like Vale isn't going to try and improve and stick with P2 with only 52 seconds left in the session. This could be oh, Rat Ross's last chance to try and push into the podium, as he is in P4 with a fair bit of pace. But uh, with not much time left to split between the three the three runners of P4, 5, and 6. It's going to be very interesting to watch later on. As he doesn't improve, but he's going to go for another lap with only 50% ERS to play with. Meanwhile, Soul's Creature is also going to set his last lap, and Zodiac as well. Meanwhile, Earl, Matt, sorry, I think this is his. He sets a 129.8. And uh, it looks like he's not going to go for it. Earl is not going to go for another lap. Monarchy won't have enough time to even set a lap. I think Renrick's just got it right then. Show Honor King. He's, he's a P7 nugget. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> he can't do another lap. But anyways, on board with the South African driver. 
if the thing will open. There it is. And scuffed again. Okay. Anyways, P4. Second to last corner of turn 13. Yes. As you can see, the South African internet is starting to lag a little bit, but he will deal with that just fine. It goes into turn 15 now. It's a good exit, but does it use all the track available to him? It's not snowing very hard where I am, and he doesn't improve. Not on board with Zoja, but he's also finished lap. So it's up to Souls King, who puts himself in speed 4 with a 126.5, which uh, pushes back down our Rat Ross and Zodiac. So I'd say that's a very good session for both Alpha Tauris. Now on board with Ren Dirks, who is going to set his last lap of Q3, and I don't know if he improved at all, but uh, yeah. It's a tiny bit choppy, just a little bit, yeah, that ain't my fault. The uh, the thing is fine, I don't know, great lap from Zodiac, I'd say so myself. Um, yeah, I just switched to the paddock because I just need to check the uh, thing. Well, that concludes the session of Q3 with Indigo P1, Vail P2, um, I think Tom P3, Soulless Creature P4, South African Driver of El Ratros P5, and the Red Bull Zodiac P6, Oniking P7, Rendux P8, Earl P9, and Matt P10 with a disappointing lap time of a 129.8. Slower than some of the runners. In Q1, but uh, we shall interview. Uh, who should we interview? Uh, let's interview Swift. Hello. Hello. By the way, don't press start. Don't press start. Yeah. There's no start for me to press. Yeah, but like when you do go on to the strategy, don't press start. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sound, sound, sound. Until the uh, FB says you. Because right. it's like there's like a. Oh, does it go for a drink? Yeah, you can go for a drink. Do oh, no, no. you want it? I guess so. Hello. Solus. Okay, he's dead. Indigo. Indigo. Yeah, what's up? Very good uh, Q3 session from both you and Solus. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that, that was that was intense. That was intense. Say. You are only yeah. two tenths in front of Veo, who is currently the leader of the drivers' championship. Um, yeah. Um, I gotta say, I, I messed up in that lap really badly. <laughs> I was yeah. I was bricking it towards the end of it and just managed to pip him like thirty six thousandth of a second or something like that. Yeah. I don't even know. It was, it was one hell of a qualifying. Would you say you enjoyed it, though? Yeah, it was very exciting. Um, obviously, still shaking. Yeah. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really sure how I managed to. Are you Are you going to go for the race win then for Bahrain? Oh, of course. I mean, if you can't, uh, if you qualify first, you got to try. Right? Yeah. Uh, are you happy with your teammates' performance in P four? Yeah. I mean. Um, He's on the mediums, yep. so he's taking a different strategy to me, and he managed to get a really good qualifying out as well. Yeah. For that, the okay. P4, so well, starting uh, the first two rows, it's quite good. Yeah. Well, congratulations on P1. Uh, yeah, thank you. Good luck for the race. Yeah, cool. Okay. Thank God I cut him off. Uh, Sunny, I'll do Sunny. Why not? Hello. So, uh, a bit of a disappointing qualifying session from both Mercedes. To be fair, right, the time that I, I got put me in Q3 anyway. Yep. Which, 
it's it's a bit of a shame that I, I lost my tire. My tire came off. Um, I would definitely be in Q3, Q3, Q3 right now. But, um, you know, there's not much we can really do. I'm going to go in onto an alternate strategy. Yeah. See if you can um, come out in front of the, the, the mid pack in front of me. Um, yeah. And then go on the softs. I'm going to go for a medium soft soft. A medium soft soft. Um, so, so I can hopefully. Uh, it doesn't look like the uh, the new wing components that you brought in for the Grand Prix hasn't helped that much, especially with Sector Two. Uh, my Sector Two is is if my Sector Two is actually my strongest uh, part of this track actually. Yep. Um, I just got a, a very horrible um, exit before that um, that tight right hander. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, that curb, it's uh, you don't usually go on it, but you know. Uh, I tried something different, didn't work out, and um, I paid the price for it. So there's a bit of competition between you and the race point of Amir's. Uh, what I mean, is... not really. Amir, Amir got a uh, worse time than both of us, and we, we didn't really do anything. So yeah, um, seems to be a bit of a competition there. <laughs> bit, a bit of tension between the three racing drivers, though. What is your opinion on that? Say that again, sorry. There's a bit of tension between the three of you guys. Um. I don't think so. It's a bit, it's a bit friendly banter. Um, okay. We're we're all we're all uh, racers here. We're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna cause anyone else any harm, um, and we're not really gonna try uh, and ruin his race. He he gets on with his stuff and we get on with our stuff. Okay. As long as there's no uh, no dirty business, then we're fine, really. All right. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello? Hello there. Very good session from you. Um, ah, thanks. P5, if I remember correctly. Yeah, P5. So uh, what is your strategy for this race? Um, not to crash out on the first corner, like okay. in Australia. Okay, that's, that... that's from there, see what happens. Okay, that's, that's a very good strategy. I think everyone can... Oh, you're starting now. Okay. Uh, I'm starting. Bye. Okay, so Sasha starts in 10 seconds. Didn't have enough time to do all the interviews, but yeah, as you heard from the man, a very good qualifying session from him, and he's proud of that. Uh, I'm just only talking for him. Now, the session starting for the formation lap. Let's see who gets disqualified with the uh, cars on the grid. Should be a very interesting race with Indigo in P1. That was uh, something we all didn't really think would happen. Oh my god! Oh. We didn't think would happen as he does lead the pack of this formation lap. Try to control the pace. Oh, there's a bit of uh, contact, I think. It's a bit tight between all these drivers, but with the Red Fox. At the end of it looks like Amir's is disconnected. I mean, give him a little invite. We get ask him. <laughs> oh my god, disconnected. Okay, that is the only issue. Is if I press H, um. Why does it say he's Grosjean? I'm so confused now. Who do you think's gonna win? Um, I don't know for sure. It's looking like uh, it's very close with between the top three, um, but the pace difference is too close to say for certain. But um, I'm I'm gonna put my money on uh, Tom, who is. Doing his first league race, I think, in his uh, entire career. But you know, besides karting, Indigo Sage. I don't know. Indigo seems to be uh, not handling the nerves very well, and it looks like Tom's gonna go for a two-stop. Soft, mediums, mediums. I think that's what he will go for. The money's on Honor King. Honor King. We'll have to see. His teammate is very far behind. 
with the, the final few cars and looks like one of the um, McLarens spun out. So clearly the aero package they got this weekend is shit. Um, and uh, his rears are going to be burning. As the final cars line up onto the grid now. With Indigo in first position. What will happen? I say Jeff, but I don't know anything about F1. Apparently, Amir's is P1. It's doing this glitch again. Four lights, five lights. And away we go at the Bahrain Grand Prix with a good start from what looks like the Renault driver of Zodiac. As they go four wide into turn one, by the looks of it, there's a bit of contact between the drivers. As Zodiac might have lost his front leg. No, he doesn't. Makes contact with Renderex as he moves himself up into loses two positions on the start right behind the Spanish driver Renderex. Now, Mirrors is in P1 apparently, but clearly not because Indigo is in P1 leading the pack. There's a yellow flag up behind. So it looks like Amir's might have caused the contacts, but I don't know for sure. Red Fox goes down the inside of Amir's. Will he get P17? Yes, he does. They make contact, and Amir loses his left end plate. Meanwhile, Jeff has uh, been overtaken by ZZ Rip on the double left hander, and he locks up. He goes very wide. ZZ Rip, sorry. And he uh, loses P13. Meanwhile, there is. Fair bit. Tom has actually moved into P2, I just realized. And uh, Earl has lost P11 from uh, Matt. And Matt has actually spun out and hit the exact same spot and goes to the back of the pack, losing part of his front wing. So far, there has been no safety car. So Nick moves up into P7 as he goes wide on the second, the last corner of. The race. Meanwhile, Tom is going side by side with Veil to turn one as he does have the slipstream, but Tom should have the better grip between the Turkish drivers. He goes side by side into turn two now and he gives him the corner. And he's using a bit of overtake, maybe gonna go down the inside at turn four of Veil as he's getting the slipstream. He has a good run, but Veil's got his nose in. They make contact and Veil drifts out a little bit. Meanwhile, El Ross has spun out. Maybe from the dirty air, I don't know for sure, but there's a VSC now out and it's given a couple of the drivers a bit of a, a breather as it stands. And Indigo's DNF'd. The, le the race leader has crashed at Sector 2. Oh no. And Solar Creature gets a, a try through penalty. This is not looking good for the Alpha Tari as he bins it in uh, lap 2 with a lot of his pressure now on his teammate to try to score some points but with a drive through time penalty not time penalty sorry uh, Onikin is actually moved up to P3 yeah you're right I didn't even realize and uh, Veil has now gained the lead and Tom gets a try through penalties as he tries to skip or tries to time that very well with uh, Mart's vibe also getting a drive through penalty so it's not looking good for the British driver as well meanwhile looking like the Going too wide, Zodiac and Renderx with Zodiac on the inside of turn 15 as a play that respectful. And uh, El Ratros tries to get a good run on turn 15, and now Zodiac's got a good run onto Renderx. Tom gets a 5 second time for speeding the pit lane. El Ratros gets a slip train off Zodiac, and they're gonna go 3 wide, I think, into turn 1. El Ratros gets his nose in, and he gets the position, he makes a little bit of contact with Zodiac into turn 2 now. And Zodiac gets pushed off the line. Meanwhile, El Ratros gets a really bad run and Renderx gets into P4 with Zodiac just behind. It's not looking for the South African at the minute as his teammate is on pole position. Sorry, the podium. And Onikin's gained P1. I've just clocked onto this now. And uh, it looks like the Sunny and Martins went side by side on the tight right hander with Earl gaining on Matt. And uh, Red Fox is going to pit for, don't know what he's going to pit for, the mediums. So he's definitely going for a one stop, there's still no safety car. And Tom's been put down into P12, which is very disappointing. And I guess we didn't see this, but Onikings P1 with Veil vale in P2 and Snowflake in P3. 
Ri. Who is the closest runners now? Uh, on board with El Ratros, who's just behind the Renault of Zodiac. Can I open this thing, please? Thank you. As he gets an okay run out of the turn 14, now to turn 15, with a Zodiac just behind the Spanish driver Renderex in the Alfa Romeo. What do you make of this? Meanwhile, Vale has got a good run out of, onto Onikin, got the slip screen, not using any of his ERS, but he gives Onikin the corner. Meanwhile, Zodiac's only, he goes side by side with Renderex, and that gives him P4, but he goes a little bit deep, and Renderex is going to get a good run. Maybe not. Meanwhile, one of the McLarens has spun out at the exact same spot as where he spun out before. You know, Onikin goes side by side with Vale. To make a little bit of contact into sector 2 now, giving Veil vale P1, but Onikin has a look, a little look on the inside of Veil. Vale. Meanwhile, Rendrix has overtaken Alratros and put him into P5. Alratros gets a good exit, and Zodiac's actually gone better of both of the drivers. Onikin's now losing a fair bit of time from Veil vale as he gets a good exit out of the double left hander. The very exciting stuff as a uh, Oh, Ratros gets the DRS off Renderex in the Alfa Romeo. They go side by side. He goes down the inside of the Spanish driver and they make a little bit of contact, but it's still respectful. They're trading new places now and they're still side by side. But now Renderex has the inside. But going for the switchback, maybe using his overtake. Yes, he does. He goes side by side yet again. But he doesn't have much ERS to play with. Meanwhile, Renderex has not much either. They both have the beloved red lights, but now Rendrix has a DRS on to a Ratros. And they've lost a lot of time against Zodiac. Meanwhile, Chef. Never mind. Rendrix just behind the gearbox of El Ratros. And the Veil gets a 3 second time point, putting on a King into P1 as it stands. I please turn off this overlay, thank you. Uh, Renrix gets a really bad run out of turn 3, I think that's what it is. How many viewers are there? 30? There's more viewers in the thing. The qualified session. Um, anyways, Tom goes into the pits for a pair of mediums and he chomps Amir's just as the two debut drivers are just behind each other. Meanwhile, Sonny just behind Martins, and there's a bit of a battle, a bit of a train just behind Jeff, as he is in P7. Meanwhile, Rendrix is losing time against El Ratros, and uh, his teammate Snowflake is still in P3. I don't think Zodiac's going to gain much time from him. Sonny just behind Martins in Sector just at the end of Sector 2 now. Maybe he might go for the move, or he might play it safe and try to save up some of the ERS. Tom gets a 3 second time penalty now. So this changes a lot. So a lot has changed. We know Earl is just behind Amir's, and he has a look down the inside on the double left hand. He goes off the track and locks up massively. You know Amir's goes very wide. Now he has the DRS off Amir's. What will Amir's do here? As he goes side by side into turn 8, and that's an easy move for Earl, but he goes in deep and uh, Amir's gets a good run out of that corner. Let's go side by side now into sector 3 where a lot has happened and he makes contact and he spins out Earl, pushing him into the wall and losing his front wheel. <coughs> and now there is a safety car as one of. Veil vale has DNF'd? He's done the exact same thing as Indigo, and this changes everything as everybody has a free pit stop. And it's gonna bunch up the field. You know how Jeff Bugnight gets a drive through time penalty, pushing, putting the. Um. What do you call it? The Renault driver last of the pack, pretty much. But yeah, this has changed everything with the driver's championship leader. Driver standings leader now DNF'd along with Indigo. With Onikin now taking P1, will he go into the pits for the medium set of compound tires? That is, it is about the right time for it as well. Or will he go for another lap to try and save those softs? And 
pit a little bit later or will he keep track position? This is something we all didn't uh, imagine, really. Top three runners in Q3 in the bottom half of the table as Honor King's now gone into the pits for a set of mediums and Zodak just behind going in for mediums as well. You know what, Arat Ross is going for another pair of soft compound tires, so... What is that hard? Sorry, mediums. Jeff Knight just behind, they're double stacking the Renault garage. And he's going to cost him a fair bit of time as he goes to the pits now and they're holding him up. He's going to go in for the... Serving his 5 second time penalty, so this creature going to the pits now for a set of... I think those are hearts? I can't tell. We shall check the... Uh, interval. Tires. Okay, so this creature's gone on for the hard tires, looking to continue on with the race without this. Jeff, now onto the soft combat tires, maybe trying to go for another stop onto the mediums. Stretch it to the end of the race. We know Tom is just behind Jeff. Oh, fuck. My throat is going to die. <sighs> so, as it stands, Snowflake, Sunny, and Onikin, both Mercedes, in the top five now, but I don't think they've made a stop yet. No, they haven't. They're yet to make a stop. So that puts Onikin in P1, Zodiac P2, and Al Ratros P3. Uh, if they don't lose that much time of it. Meanwhile, Snowflake is leading the pack. He might go into the pits, but it's a bit early for the medium runners to go into the pits now, as uh, the mediums will, are still in very good shape for maybe five, six, seven laps, I think. But yeah, this, the whole race has just changed on its head with the South African driver leading the pack, putting Red Bull in P1. As he looks like he's not going to go into the pits. And uh, Vibes looking like he's going to stay out as well with no one going to the pits besides a Ferrari of Matt. Who's on, well, I have all mediums, so I don't know why you'd go into the pits. To be fair, but uh, might be part of the Ferrari Mass fan as he does lose quite a lot of grip positions. With uh, the safety car still out for maybe another lap, I think. We'll just have to see what happens towards the end. But good race from Oni King so far from the... I think it was like P7 to begin with, and now he's P1. Um, minus, well, plus the... Uh, the thing. Oh my god. But... It's a bit weird because Indigo did the exact same thing and there was no safety car. Though Vale did the exact same thing and there was a safety car, so this game's a bit broken. Uh, maybe a bit of a harder impact, I don't know. But that puts both the Alpha Tauri and the Alpha Romeo out of the race, putting a lot of pressure on Rendrix and Solus Creature, who did very well last race, to go from the back of the pack to P5. See if he can do that again, as he will go for the one stop. And we won't have any more uh, pits after this safety car. So he will retain track position if he can keep at least 20 seconds to Honor King. He will be essentially P1, but I think the medium runs will move on to the mediums again. So it looks like the safety car will come in this lap I think I don't know might even go for another lap it is coming in this lap so snowflake the South African driver will he get a good restart so go on board of him there's a bit of confundling going around after that there's a five second time penalty there's a very collision with Red Fox from Amir's. Sunny doesn't get the good run out of it. 
Meanwhile, Elrara's going side by side with Zodiac into turn one. Zodiac has the slower combat towers, and Renrix just came out of nowhere and gets P5 just like that. I think he didn't get any damage, might have been some lag, but he got lifted up into the air. That was out of nowhere. Zodiac loses P7 from El Ratros. He does have the ERS. Meanwhile, Vibe and Snowflake are going side by side. That's an easy pass for Vibe. Snowflake, sorry, but Vibe's just right around the gearbox of Snowflake. Meanwhile, Onika moves itself up into P2, and Snowflake's gone down to P3, so it must have been a very bad sector too to lose that much time. Meanwhile, Onika's right on the gearbox of Sonny as he does have the slipstream, but he's not using any ERS at all. Hey, barbarians. It's looking like. Solid Creature gets P7 on Zodiac, and Amir's DNFs on the straight, or he might have retired, or I don't know what happened. But Zodiac just behind the Alpha Mea, but now Jeff is also just behind his teammate of Zodiac. And uh, I think Oni King is gonna go for a move. Sonny has no ERS to play with until the end of this lap. And uh, Onik is going to get a good slipstream onto Sonny as he goes defensive on the inside into turn one. And they go side by side, but Onik touches the grass a little bit. He goes deep into it. And uh, he gets a very bad exit, but they're still side by side into turn two. Sonny pushes him a little bit out. Renix gets a three six time penalty as five takes that position. And now it's a three way fight for P1. But as it stands, Onik King will be P1 as both the Mercedes and the Red Bull will need to pit at some point. Snowflake goes down the inside and makes contact with Onik King, pushing him out wide and gaining, losing that position. Aratus gets a good run onto Onik King, but now it's a double left-hander. Will he keep his P1 position as we get a good view of his ass right now. And now he has the slipstream, but he's not close enough to make a move. Solus creature just behind Vibe. There's a three-way battle. Vibe goes down the inside of Renderix and he takes that position. They make a little bit of contact. And he gets that position easily. It wasn't a very easy move. Renderix goes down the inside of Vibe as he goes wide, but Vibe's gonna get the better exit of him. As he gets a three-second time penalty. Uh, for cutting the corner a little bit. We know Tom's gone up into P8 now. There's a four-way battle going on. So this creature goes side by side with Vibe as he goes into turn 15 on the inside. Vibe gets a good exit out of turn 15, but he's not close enough. Tom's now got no DRS to play with, and now Rendrix is uh, the one who is going to get going to go side by side with Soul's creature into turn one with just Vibe just behind him, and Tom going down the outside of Vibe. It's a four-way battle now. So this creature goes deep into turn 2 and Tom almost gets knocked off the uh, track from Renderix. Uh, but Soul's Creature takes P5, it's a very good lap from him but he's pushing his mediums a little bit too hard as he might struggle towards the end of the race. You know, on board with Oni King and Snowflake just slides through that corner. Now side by side with Snowflake as they go into the double left-hander, they make contact, and Snowflake drifts backwards. I think that was Onik King's fault there, as his tires are now hot and he's losing a lot of time. There's a massive crash up ahead, just in front of him. Tom, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Um, so, Matt just behind Vibe now, as he gets a good exit out of there, and Vibe loses two positions to the Ferraris. Ferrari now P67 and they won't and Matt won't make a pit stop after this, but Martins might have to. Meanwhile, Alvarat Ross has got this slipstream of Sonic King and uh, Sonny just up ahead but outside of the DRS uh, zone. And this will be El Red Fox gets a five second, three second time penalty, sorry. And um Sonic is using a lot of DRS, but El Rat Ross gives him the corner. As he's I don't got much to play with either. He just gets a really bad exit out of there. We know Snowflake's been overtaken vibes. He's gone into the pits. Okay, that's where we went. Martin's just behind his teammate. 
with uh, Honor King gaining time on Sonny now as the old compound mediums are losing a lot of time now. Too far has already have had a good race. Um, and there's no no other battles going on at the minute besides P1 and 2 because Sonny still has to make a pit stop. So does Ram Ross. So he might get the undercut, but he might go for the soft combat tires and stretch it towards the end. Bill Martin's just get a good X out of there, and there's now a three way battle. Somebody's discorded me. I don't know what that is. Just check. I'm ears. The mirrors has texted me on Discord, and one of the uh, cards spun out yet again. This is like the fifth time. So uh, we're gonna interview Amirs now, as uh, he will. Hello. Hi there. So uh. What happened? This is a bit of foul play, amateur play, honestly. Um, so on the first lap, I was trying to be very away from all the whole uh, chaos that was happening on the first turn. Okay. There was a lot of wings about, and uh, the Haas driver, uh, he lost his wing, and then he came to contend against me later on in sector one. Which makes no sense. When you lose your wing, you're meant to keep the car safe until you come back home. But this guy was like fighting against me with a broken wing. And um, because of that, I lost my wing. So that just completely slowed me down. So I had to pit later on for a new wing. Okay. Um, and then a McLaren driver. Uh, like, it seems like this race, like McLarens are really up there, man. Uh, McLaren driver, he uh, he was speeding up. You know the on the end of the second DRS zone? Yeah. You get like loopy thing yeah um the mclaren driver decides to slow down there when it's not a point for you to slow down and uh i pretty much hit him in the back based off him slowing down didn't have much time to react to it and uh caused not only did i get uh, wing damage i also got a five second penalty for a thing that wasn't even my fault and he, he didn't even bother speeding up he kept like slowing down and also, he was like uh, lagging the whole way through, which was funny. Um, and then finally, again on the you know the restart after the safety car. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you probably would have seen that, but the hospital again, he was right up my uh, back, and he decides to speed up right into me uh, on the restart, which was really nice. I ended up hitting the barrier, and I got another five second penalty. And oh, you got uh, disqualified. Yeah. No, I got a uh, penalty. I DNF myself. Oh, okay. There's no point racing when you have what's like a 13 second penalty and you're gonna lose your wing at the end of each turn because someone wants to make a crazy play or they want to dive bomb into you when they shouldn't do. It's just, it's really frustrating and annoying, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Unlucky. Who do you think is gonna win? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm, I've got my money on my teammate Honor King, he, he's, he's been driving really well and it was unfortunate in the first race where he DNF'd, he's a good driver, I'm, I'm rooting for him to get that P1, yep. yeah, I'm rooting for him to get that P1 into this race, he's definitely been working hard and he is actually a very smart driver, very uh, careful with how he races and he respects drivers, which okay. is a good thing in F1, which the other drivers should learn from him, but other than that he's doing good. That's it's good. unfortunate that Indigo and Avail as well, they DNF'd, I, I saw yeah, the Yeah, they, they, um, they DNF'd on the exact same corner as Sunny did in Q3. Q1, sorry. Oh well. Wow. Yeah. Guess they pushed too hard into it. Yeah. But yeah. But that was unfortunate, really. I mean, I'm looking forward to the next race. Next race is what, Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with the keyboard. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs>
Uh, it's going to be different Vietnam. It's going to be more tight, but I'm I'm very, very confident it's going to be more wings being shattered in that race compared to this one. Yeah. My god. But, uh, yeah, the top yeah, three, I, uh, Tom, Vale, and Indigo, pretty much out of the, the uh, race win. Yeah, definitely. And somebody also went out on the exact same place. Jeff McKnight. Almost DNF'd. I feel bad for, uh, was it Swift what was the name? Yeah, Swift. He was he was doing good in the qualifier and I think he ended up at the back. Yeah, he got a drive through penalty on one of the VSCs. Yeah, it's honestly like, it's it's a bit messy the way a lot of people drive. It's, and I, I know that the marshals and the bosses are smart to give up penalties and I hope that they look into all of these incidents because it's important too, so people don't keep doing them. Yeah, that's what, other what than happened. That, it was it was it was okay race. Next one on Vietnam. Hopefully, I get a better result. Ah, what's this vibe? Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was great. I'm looking forward to inter or casting your uh, race. In a okay. Couple hours. Yep. You lost, baby girl. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, see ya. See ya. So as you heard from Amir, bit of a messy thing right now, uh, field, but um, yeah, so far, so good. The top three contenders are now gone, which uh, I don't think anyone expected that, but yeah, Honor King now on P1, as Sonny made his P stop, pit stop and put himself into P7 as he did lose a lot of time as we saw earlier while uh, Amir was getting interviewed well, he's onto the soft combat tower so maybe going for the fastest lap and then going off to the mediums meanwhile Arat Ross gets a good exit out of turn 15 but Onik is going to go in for the pits maybe going to go in for the undercut on a set of hard compound tires I think or maybe mediums even, I don't know. He only did 8 laps. So that puts uh, Aurorus into P1. And... Honor King onto the hards now, so he will go for... The... And, uh, Vibe is really struggling. I think he's spun out yet again. So, uh, Honor King just behind Sonny now, so... But Sonny still has to make another pit stop. If Honor King can get in front of Sonny and hold him back, he will absolutely ruin the tires of those softs. As he, the grip between the soft and hard combat tires is a lot for both of them to handle, or for Honor King to handle. With uh, Alvaro still needing to make a pit stop, so let's see, he is 23 seconds behind, so Alvaro might get the overcut onto Onaking if he does pit, somebody's got the beloved thing. But yeah, I think Alvaro's gonna push onto the mediums and uh, go for a a fastest lap potentially on the medium compound tires. We we'll just have to see what happens. South Africa driver handling the pressure very well. Meanwhile, Sonny just behind the Ferrari of Matt. Gets a good, decent run out of turn two. He has a DRS onto Matt. With the Mott in P8. So he's gone from P3 to P8. But uh, to be fair, he did have a drive through penalty. And he using up all his overtake. So he has none to play with for the rest of this lap. I think he forgot to turn it off. By the looks of it. Uh, meanwhile, 
Sunny's made a move on to Matt as he takes P4 with the uh, fresher softs and faster compound tires. Well, I've got a three second time penalty as he's he's already been lapped, so the Mercedes is uh, a bit unlucky. Meanwhile, Honor King is. I think he lost a little bit of time on to El Right Ross. So he might get the overcut on him. We'll just have to see. If he does go into the mediums, it will have to stretch out quite a lot. But uh, I think he's going to go in for another lap, or maybe even two. So he can push a little bit on the mediums and try to stretch them out. But it is possible. There's a yellow flag in Sector 3. It looks like ZZ Rip has yet again spun out for like the 10th time on that same corner. And Honor King's made a move. He hasn't made a move. He's just overtaken Martins in the pit stop. He's getting held for to serve his five second time penalty. Meanwhile, Malt is also going to go into the pits for potentially a pair of mediums. As we can see, Earl Ross has gone 11 laps already. And uh, looks like one of the McLaren spun out at turn two. With no one really in each other's DRS, it's going to be difficult for any battles to happen. Mott now in P12 with the medium. It's going to stretch him out to the end of the race. He might struggle towards the end of this part of the race. We'll just have to see. As the uh, medium combat tires, but he does have fresher mediums compared to Jeff and Zodiac behind so it's not a very good day for the uh, Reynolds as they did qualify quite far up. But you know Martin's just behind ZZ Rip who has also fresher compound medium tires and uh, Alvaro Ross is now in the pits for a new wing and a set of mediums so that should put Oni King in front of Alvaro Ross as it will cost him a fair amount of time. Sonny how many pit stops has he made? With uh, Honor King now on his last stop. Oh, Rat Ross also on his last stop of the Grand Prix, but he does have the faster compound tires compared to Honor King. And he does have a time penalty. If I could just uh, fly that out of three seconds. So if he stays within three seconds of him, he will for sure get the lead. The Soul Creature is still in P1, but with Sunny closing up on him on those soft compound tires. Meanwhile, Tom is right behind the gearbox of the French driver in the Renault of Jeff McKnight. Gets a decent run out of turn 3 and he has a DRS using 0% of his overtake. So he goes on the inside on the sharp right hander, but Jeff gets a good run. But gets Lock just a little bit. Tom has a lot more grip than Jeff to play with and he loses a lot of time as his older compound tires look like they're falling off. You know, there's a. Oh, Ramos has spun out on the exact same corner, losing a fair bit of time. Earl overtakes him on the inside, but he plays it very safe. Oh, gets a good run. On our Rot Ross, and he will take P4. So, uh, so far that corner has claimed the victims of at least seven. Our Rot Ross got a good run onto Earl as he goes down the inside of Earl in turn one. Nero gets a snap of overseer, so he loses a lot of his momentum out of turn 3. But he does have the DRS. No, he doesn't. Nobody has the DRS. It's got that beloved thing bug. And he's now losing a fair bit of time as the old hards, the 
14 lap old cards. Does he has he even made a stop? He's made two stops already, so I think he's gonna try to go to the end on these, but they're gonna fall off even more as he does lose a lot of time on El Ratros. Nothing else is going on besides these Europe trying to gain some time onto Matt, who is on fresher mediums. Wes just made a pit stop actually. Uh, and Matt's teammate Martins is in P12 just outside of the DRS zone of Renault, of Jeff McKnight. Still not a very good day for both Renaults as they're P11 and 13. Vibe gets a 3 second time penalties as he's put, as he is last on the grid. You know, Sonny is a. I guess blue flags, okay. I thought he crashed out or something. So, Sonny. Laps his teammate vibe at the end of sector one. So he will have to pit for softs. Yeah, he will pit, but uh, he might. He's already changed his compound tires. He might even go onto another set of softs as there isn't that many laps to go in this race. And potentially go for the fastest lap. You know what, Rendrix is in, just in the DRS zone of Earl, who has caught up a fair bit of time. I don't think he got within one second at that DRS detection zone. No, he doesn't. He is, though, eight tenths behind him, and he does have a fair bit of ERS to play with compared to Earl. So it should be an easy overtake towards the uh, straights. He has more mechanical grip on those pressure hard compound tires onto the place where it's victimized at least 10 people today. That's a very bad exit out of turn 13. So he's gone into the pits now for another set of softs. I mean, also Solis has also gone into the pits for a set of softs, putting Oniking in a very vulnerable position as he does have the slower compound tires. I mean, oh, Rendrix, sorry, Snowflake, what was I looking at earlier? I don't even remember. So Sonny's been put down into P6, but he goes on the inside of Rendrix, the Spanish driver. He gets a bad exit, so Snowflake's on the outside of him, but he goes, goes off track. And uh, it looks like Sonny's going to retain P6 after the pit lane. Pit, sorry, not pit lane. Well, if you want to see it, there it is. <laughs> um, anyways, Sunny on those soft compound tires on the gearbox of the Spanish driver of Rendrix. He will have a good amount of time on the double left hander. He goes down the inside, he takes a very weird line. Rendrix was very wide out and they just leave enough space. You know, Snowflake's got a good run on the Spanish driver and now he's going side by side with Sunny. But, uh,. Will he break late? Yes, he will. Sonny gets more grip out of it, and he gets almost gets knocked out. You know, Rendrix has now got a little bit of an opportunity on Snowflake, but backs off a little bit. Sonny's now up into P5. That was very good fire. <laughs> Sonny's uh, done very well to get himself up into this position. Getting a good run out of turn 15. Now having the DRS of Earl, but Snowflake losing a lot of time and Rendrix just in the DRS zone of Rat and Snowflake. Earl has zero ERS, meanwhile, Sonny also has zero ERS. He goes down the inside, he goes very deep, and that should be P4 easily. Sonny's a bit ambitious on these softs, he thinks they are 100% traction and he loses everything. And uh, Snowflake is now in the DRS zone. But none of them have any ERS to play with. And there's yellow flag up ahead with a safety car as Vibe has DNF'd. He's DNF'd in a very weird spot. He might have retired, I can't tell. Um, he went straight into the wall. You can see his uh, Mercedes just there. That's a very weird spot. So now this changes everything as Oniking could go into the pits for a set of soft compound towers maybe. But Soul's Creature 
just behind Honor King. Not gonna lie, I feel like this was uh, scripted because that's a very weird place to uh, to crash. Like, just went straight into the wall. Um, maybe a wheel disconnect? I don't know. It's a bit odd to me. So now, this will bunch up the pack and um, this will give Solus a good. Good run onto. Oniking as he is on the softer compound of tires and Sunny will also gain a fair few positions I think on this restart as Earl is on some old hards 18 lap hard tires but he does have a time penalty meanwhile Aurora still in P3 and he still has that bug and uh, Red Fox gets a 3 second time penalty now so there will only be at least 3 laps I think left in this race and um, Tom should be looking to maybe overtake ZZ Rip Crashgate 2.0 this might be a Fernando Alonso Is the yeah it's fine okay so lap 25 onto 26 now this will bunch out the pack Martins goes on for the medium combat tires to the end of the race um he will have to work his way through the traffic uh, meanwhile Oni King is going to stay with the hard compound tires just in front of Soul Screecher who is currently P1 and this could be a race win for him um. After a very good race in Australia, this could be a very good race from him today. He has gained two positions, you know, and Rot Ross shouldn't be too bad. He might even gain P2 he should, if he doesn't get any more penalties, or if he doesn't gain a penalty. As I'll now torture your ears with the sound of a high revving F1 car. Even when the braking is still revving. Huh. I've been added to a Microsoft Teams. Nice. Oh no, I'm beginning semester two. Ah, uh, no. Okay, sorry, I was checking my work emails. Um, onto this, I think the crash car will win. But yeah, that's four runners out now. So safety cars coming into this lap, uh, at least four laps remaining in this Grand Prix. What will Solus Creature do on this restart? As he is P2 and he does have the fresher softs and the faster compound of tires. As we go on board with him for this restart. There's a massive thing up ahead and they get really bad run out. Sonny gets a good run into P3 now. But Elratro is using his ERS to try to go down the inside of Sonny. 
And Solus Creature is going to play safe until they go too, too wide into turn 1. He makes contact with El Solus Creature. He might have lost a bit of his front wing now, and there's a lot of position being made. Rendrix gets a 3 second time penalty. The safe card is still out for some reason. Right, there's a bit of a glitch going on. Um, okay, now it's green flags. So he's gone too wide with El Raros. He gets taken out! And loses the race and gets put down into the back of the pack. So it looks like he went a bit too aggressive there, but uh, I don't know what you make of that. Meanwhile, Zedek has made a move onto Tom and onto ZZ Rip as well. They go to P8 and they make a lot of contact. They go three wide. Tom gets a snap of Overseer on ZZ Rip and looks like ZZ Rip will take P10 into the double left hander. But now Tom's gone down the inside of both ZZ Rip and Red Fox, but Red Fox is a good exit out of there and secures P10 for now. And it's looking like. Um, that's gone very deep onto Earl, and that's an easy overtake for Red Fox and Zodiac. Tom's right on the gearbox of Matt as they go into Sector 3. There's a bit of dirt here going on as he might be missing a bit of his front wing. Yes, he's missing his front, his right end plate. There's a yellow flag up ahead. Looks like Sunny is now out of contention for his race. Meanwhile, Solus Creature just behind Honor King, and it looks like it's going to be an easy move as he goes into the sip stream of Honor King, now side by side. Going to turn one, Soul's Creature, Sonny's retired the car. Side by side now into turn one. As uh, there's no contact made, but Soul's Creature has the better traction. They make a little bit of contact on the, the tires, and that brings Auraros a little bit. Meanwhile, Tom has gained up into PA, but he's a bad exit on. But, <laughs> fuck! Tom's now into P8. Gets the better of Red Fox catching him napping and now now Zodiac has spun out everyone's spinning out everyone's really sending it into this restart so now that's putting a lot of pressure on Jeff McKnight as he has a look down the inside of ZZ Rip and he goes side by side but he gets blocked by Red Fox it makes a fair bit of contact but no Martins is having a look on these uh, these people and so this creature now where is Onyx King? Side by side, there he is. On that part of the track. Will he take P1 as Onyx King is really fighting this, but he goes too deep. Now Snowflake getting invited into this as he's just behind the gearbox of Onyx King. And he gets his slipstream as well as the ERS, but Onyx King is using all of his ERS to try and protect this. Watch his DNFs in uh, the exact same place as like 10 people have. So that promotes Zodiac up to P12. Tom just behind Matt, who will have the DRS, as it has just been enabled. So he will have the DRS later on. Jeff has been put up to the P9. Meanwhile, it's easy. Rips making a move onto Red Fox in the thing, and he makes a bit of contact. He has the slip train off Jeff McKnight going side by side into turn one. Jeff McKnight is late on the brakes. So they make a bit of contact, and now Red Fox has got a good exit out of turn two. And taking P9 just like that. And ZZ Rip has lost two positions in a straight, trying to gain a position. With Onyx King in P2 now, and Soul's Creature looking to win the race as it is the last lap. And it's looking like this will stand as it is. As Red Fox goes very deep. And Jeff McKnight just on the gearbox of it. He will get DRS this straight. Tom will deploy all of his ERS to try to protect Matt, but he doesn't get a good exit out of there. Meanwhile, Jeff McKnight using also all of his ERS onto Red Fox. He's going to have a look on the inside, I think. Will he send it? No, he's going to wait. And he gets blocked a little bit by Red Fox. He gets pushed out wide as Red Fox doesn't have a front left end play. As it goes side by side in Sector 3, and Red Fox almost has the snap of Overseer there. And uh, Jeff McKnight gets promoted into P3 now. Meanwhile, Soul's Creature on the last turn of the race. And he wins the Grand Prix. Meanwhile, Earl and Tom are fighting for P6. As he's using his, all of his ERS now. As he goes side by side. Will Tom get P6 with a broken end plate? And he does. Matt gets put into P8. P7. Jeff McKnight's into P9 now. And that concludes... Powering Grand Prix, so that was a very eventful last lap.
driver of the day. I say he was soulless. Um, a lot of pressure on him as his teammate interviews Sonny. I'll interview him in a bit. Money on Oni King was not a mistake. Yeah, Nugget Fox. <laughs> uh, P2, I think. Very good race. Or P3. Very good race from the South African driver of. Um, oh, Rat Ross. One and a half with that spin. I think he got pushed a little bit, but yeah, as it stands, oh, Rat Ross P2, Oni King P3. Snowflake and P4 is a very good day for both the South African drivers and Red Bull Racing. Uh, meanwhile, Zodiac and Jeff McKnight at least scoring three points this weekend, as well as ZZ Rip. And both McCarran is also scoring good points. But uh, in terms of the championship, I think the Red Bull will be towards the front end of that. So look at the incidents, there shouldn't be too many. There is quite a lot actually, I take it back. GG. Alright, now... Oh my god, this is almost as much as a thing. But you know what, Tom, with a 4 stop, gets a P6. So that concludes... Barring Grand Prix as we will. Now I'll do some interviews. <laughs> oh, this will be uh, interesting. Uh, where's Soulless Creature? Where's Sunny? Well, Vibe. Oh, I love you, Vibe. Hello? Hello. Um, you left a lot of marks on the uh, walls. Were you struggling for grip? I'm not interested, whiskey. Not now. Okay. What happened? Right, what happened there? Well, just just people can't can't stand getting overtaken and uh, decide to to try and just push off the track all the time. It's fucking boring. Okay. I thought this was meant to be a proper league, and people. And I'm not very good, but even I can tell when people are being dickheads. So. Yeah, you crashed in a very awkward <clears throat> spot as well. I just got bored of fucking playing in a stupid race where you can go from fourth and just get rammed constantly and uh, and then end up fucking trailing in uh, last place when you spent three hours racing. What's the okay. Alright, fair enough. See ya. Oh. Well, uh... Oh. Okay. Um. Let's get this guy in. Wait, where is the Alpha Tauri? Hello. Hello. Congratulations on your first win. Thanks, man. Oh my god, I'll stop and recover from that. Yep, that was a very good, yeah. very good, uh, very good call going onto the softs. Yeah, uh, my initial strategy was going to be mediums to hards in lap yep. eleven. You know that safety car, first safety car in lap seven came out. Yeah. I was like, okay, just going to go hards. It would officially told me go first softs and hards, but I was like, no, going to do hards. Maybe I can push it to the end. And then I said, you know what? I've got so much pace, just gonna go into the, under the softs, and that worked brilliantly. But then Vibe, for a reason, just went straight into a wall. Like he he said wall. he he said he gave up. Yeah, yeah. which is like, annoying because I I thought that safety guard would jeopardize my win there. But actually, but it turned out that it, it, uh, it turned out to be right. Yeah, because Oni King was on very old hard tires as well. Yeah, 18 lap olds on that restart, and you had fresh softs. Yeah, uh, well, not entirely fresh. Uh, I had used them to do just, uh, I used them to cover up, uh, to cover Q2. Okay. So okay. In this case, I thought my medias was quick, so I had like 5% starting, but it was practically, practically fresh. Basically, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, what happened with your teammate? Uh, is he DNF quite early in the race? Yeah, he just lost it in a corner, like around a corner. He just, he said himself, he pushed just a bit too hard and yep. mistakes happen. But when I saw that, I was like, okay, it's up to me now for the team. And then I got a drive through then as well. Yeah, because I wasn't paying attention to my data, and that moment I thought it was all over. Okay. Yeah, Jeffrey, well, but... uh, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Ma. Hello, 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 hello. Um. So we've you've, you've got a fan in the chat. He's called Ben Broughton. I don't know who he is. Uh... I don't know. He sounds kind of kind sounds kind of hot. Oh. 
Anyways, a good recovery oh, from you man. from last on the grid to P6. Um, yeah, it could have, it should have gone a lot better to be honest. Yep. I I got a drive through penalty. I lost. I had to replace my wing twice. Like that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good race. Yeah. Could have gone better. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, congratulations on a decent race at least on your debut. Fastest lap as well, Pog Champ. Oh yeah, you did get the fastest lap, so that's an extra point. Yes, sir. Uh... So uh, yeah, bye, bitch. <laughs> yes. Right, sorry about that. Um, just uh, my roommate came in. So we shall interview Earl. Hello. Hey, it's me again. What an honor. Damn. So uh, what position were you? Were like P6? Five. Five at five. P5. Between some time penalties in front. Um, how many times did you spin out in Sector 3? Can you remember? Um, in, in qualifying or in race? <laughs> in the in race. Twice and then race, yeah, actually twice as well. Yeah, he seem, seems yeah, like. Yeah, but the... it wasn't in the beginning, and then I I went under the hearts and actually just drove them to the end. Yep. That was a very good race from you, uh, especially after that spin. Same with your ZZ Rip. Are you happy with the performances so far? Actually, actually, we were talking in in the Discord, and after the the uh, spins, we were talking there, and we're like, okay, maybe we can get one or two points, and actually, it quite, played out quite well, right? Yeah, uh, congratulations! Actually, you did quite well. Thank you well. very much. Good, good amount of points there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. And yeah, good for the team. After uh, after that race, um, who would you say is your uh, competitor now? Your rival? Oh, it is definitely my teammate. Okay. Right now, in in, in terms of points, where did he who come? I'm racing again? Sorry. Where did he come? An um, eight nine. That's decent, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. See you next week then. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I can't hear you. Ah, uh, there you are. Yep. P two. Yeah. Very good race from you. You definitely. Uh, wasn't the most perfect race, still some mistakes, but I'm happy that... I saw, to... I did see that spin in Sector 3. Yeah, after I pitted as well, it's like, oh, I pitted just because I thought my tyres were dying, going to new tyres. They tires were, spin. I think there were at least 10 people who spun out in the same place. To the proper spin out area. Same, same as Australia. <laughs> yeah, hey, but unlike Australia, I brought it home. You and, brought it uh, home, teammate, yes. And teammate, Snowflake, came fourth as well, so... It's all very, in all, that's a good day. Good, good weekend for Red Bull. Um, you did leave a bit of marks on the uh, some of the cars, though. I saw a bit of contact. I think, I think some of the cars left more of a mark on me, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. Yeah. Um, I think after the first safety car I got went up the inside, then someone tried to make a three wide dive bomb into the first corner, and I just got sandwiched airborne. Saw my life flash between before my eyes. I was just that uh, recovered well enough, at least. Yeah. Well, um, but I think I think Solus had a brilliant strategy. Just even without the safety car, I think he would have. With my Spinala, he came out ahead of me. Maybe if I was ahead of me, maybe if I didn't spin, yeah, different story. But I think he had a quality strategy. Yeah, and well, even without the safety car, I think he would have won. Well, uh, again, congratulations on the podium, and P two as well. Thank you. On to uh, yeah, on to Vietnam. After last week. <laughs> oh, oh God, can we just skip Vietnam? Does the, anyone like Vietnam? Uh, yeah, I like Vietnam. Okay, leave. Um, who else should I interview? Oh, uh, Jeff McKnight. 
Hello. Hello. You left a bit of yep. mark on the uh, walls. Were you struggling for grip? Uh, I don't think I have a lot of comments to do on this race. Otherwise, I, it might not be acceptable. So. Okay. So, uh, good weekend, bad weekend? I mean, it was good until I got rammed by a guy who took a piece of my wing out. Okay. Uh, it was... Uh, I got a kind of a good recovery, uh, yep. but five seconds penalty. Don't know why. I'm just checking my record to see if I need to file any complaint about that. Yep. Amongst others, you and, can uh, do yeah. that. You should be fine. Frustrated, uh, a bit mad at people who are, I'd say, inconsistent. But uh, I'd rather go with dangerous. Yep. And uh, I mean, it's a league where you're supposed to have proper driving uh, and. I got a lot of people that I saw today uh, who were just playing breakfast, and that's that's just mental. Well, you do have so a I bit have of a uh, bit of experience with breakfast, anyways. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that's not why I play F1 2020. So these guys should consider the same. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, unlucky. On to Vietnam. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good weekend, bad weekend? Um, I don't know. Quite bad. Yeah, what happened uh, towards the restart? I saw you spin out. Uh, which time? Uh, the last safety car. Did I spin out? Oh, uh, well... I don't remember. You, Probably you, did. You drifted. Yeah. Lap 26, Maybe. 27. Maybe. Probably someone else crashed into me or something. I need to review my footage. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. unlucky. Yeah, so good. I don't think I'm going to be racing anymore in this league. I thought this was a proper league, but clearly not. Fair enough. All right. Well, uh, see you. Yeah. There goes another driver, I guess. Um. Oh. Uh, watching the interviews, well, guess what, Matt? You're getting interviewed. Uh, hello. Hello. Because you said you're watching the interviews, you're getting interviewed. Oh, yeah. So Quite excited for this one. So uh, waiting. waiting a whole week. A lot of Spinales with the Ferrari. Yeah. Especially in it was a bit, Sector yeah. 3. We, we had a few mistakes. We, uh, we got up into P5 and P6. Yeah. And then both had a few mistakes which uh, cost us and I think uh, my teammate came 13th in the end yeah which because uh, he span and broke his wing <laughs> but uh, still still a good weekend for us yeah he scored a few uh, points I think yeah p7 first points was pretty proud of it fair enough well um, thank you yeah thanks uh, do you want to play race oh, oh right. uh uh, uh, okay, uh, anyways, that concludes the race, and uh, thank you for joining in and watching us lose our shit, pretty much. <laughs>